Hey Virgo and welcome. This is going to be a general love reading for September 2022 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also, happy birthday to those of you who have had birthdays or who have birthdays coming up. Um, do keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And also the roles can definitely be reversed in this reading because it is a general one. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you in September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, <clears throat> we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Queen of Wands. All right, there's a new path that is opening up for you here. Um, I do feel like this is you, um, by the way. Could be um, that the rules are reversed and this is for the other person here. I feel like it is you. There is a new path that is opening up um, in the material world. It could even be... It could even be more on a practical level and not so much in love, but this is a love reading, so just take the messages as they resonate. I feel like the um, the only issue here, the challenge I'm seeing, is you just feeling more confident. I'm sorry about the noise. That's that's a dog that I am uh, pet sitting <laughs> um, <clears throat> for like a, another few days. All right. So yeah, it just feels like the challenge is you feeling confident about this new path. Let's see your energy here. We have the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, so there's definitely been an ending, um, or there's an ending that's kind of like lurking, and it was definitely a painful one. I feel like it's something that for most of you has already happened here. Um, and that is what is opening up the new path for you. And whew, it, it feels like you're moving towards, you know, just really being determined. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, you might be um, trying to think of everything very, very rationally. And that could be something that is hindering you, you know. I feel like you might be a little bit rigid in some things, like just... It's like this new path is opening up for you, right, after some kind of an ending. And <clears throat> there's a little bit of, like, stubbornness or, like, you know, just being too rigid about how things should be, possibly. And that's kind of what's affecting your confidence. Or it's the lack of confidence that is making you think this way. So we'll see more when we clarify. But let's see what's going on with another person here. Um which is in some way attached to you. We have Justice, okay, so Libra, some of you might be dealing with a Libra, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right. It, it feels like this person either made some kind of a decision um, or completed some kind of a karmic cycle. Whoever this is, though, um, this person has a lot of feelings for you, a lot of feelings for you, and it looks like they're trying to kind of sort things out or figure things out or something along those lines. It's like they're implementing some kind of a plan or just, yeah. Let's see. Potential outcome. We have the Ten of Cups. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. Um, a happy ending in love, basically. Or, you know, if it's not the happy ending just yet, it's that that opportunity for love opening up, whether it be this person or somebody else. Let's clarify. Okay, Virgo. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. way too many so let me just give one more shuffle one shuffle means three because <laughs> it's like in sets of threes all right so 
Uh, for the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Um, whatever this new path is that is opening up for you, it's in the practical, but it's also something I feel very, very exciting. Um, but it can also feel a little bit overwhelming, um, like it's too much. Um, and this could be something that is hindering you from really like, you know, moving forward 100% and giving it your all. I feel like you're holding back a little bit in terms of how much energy you you give to this or you know how much attention you pay to it and it's because it feels overwhelming um, to you but again I feel like you know it's it's actually going to lead to this ten of cups here all right let's see let's see that ten of swords The Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords. All right, so this is something, whatever it is that ended, it's something that um, was giving you some kind of, mm, I wouldn't say gratification in some way. Like it's a situation that may have felt like this is what you wanted, or maybe you still feel like, you know, this would be what would um, fulfill you. But again, I feel like it's also something that was that never felt 100% complete. Um, it's almost coming in like a situation where it's like you were getting some kind of maybe even instant gratification and then there was something else to it though, like it's... It definitely was not something easy. It definitely was not an easy um, situation. But it's like, I can't explain it. It's almost like, you know, you were getting something out of it, which was maybe even a little bit um, addicting. And that's okay, you know, even if it's this person and even if it's the person that you still want, um, it feels like there's a new path opening up because you're, it's like you're allowing that to end but again, it's like you're hesitating moving forward in the new path. And you, I mean, like I said, you know, this new path could even lead to the same person for some of you. It really depends. Let's see the King of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So they, this person has a Seven of Pentacles as well. Um, and that seven of pentacles, it does remind me of your sign, actually. It's like, yeah, you're, it's like you're overly planning or overly rationalizing. Um, it, it's almost coming in as trying to focus too much on your intuition, so much so that you might lose sight of it. So I feel like this is just like a little message of guidance here. Yes, you know, listen to your intuition, but don't try to like nitpick at it because nitpicking at it, it's like, it just creates like some kind of overthinking or over planning or just over analyzing um, to the point where you're, you're either rationalizing something and it's keeping you a little bit rigid, you know, just kind of go with the flow a little bit more. That's the message for you here. Let's see that four of pentacles. Yeah, eight of swords. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like it's keeping you, um, it's keeping you, it's keeping you stuck in, in the past almost. Like even though there is an ending here that you've already been through, um, overthinking the new path it's like kind of keeping you back it's keeping you stuck a little bit in the past in a, possibly even in a particular um, partnership here so you know it's, it's kind of like you know allow yourself to just work with the divine 
Just work with the universe, work with your, with your intuition without nitpicking at it. Don't put too much effort um, into it because, yeah, <laughs> that path is there and it's just, the nitpicking is, it's like you're just picky about how this new path should be. Just let it be what it is. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see justice. The Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. That Ace of Pentacles showing up again. I feel like this person actually made some kind of a decision here in terms of love and which way to go and it feels like this person took a new path. Um, I'm not really sure if that new path was towards you or not, um, but it definitely feels like, you know, um, something here. There, there, there may have even been like a legal issue that either ended and that affected you in some way or it went the other way around. And whatever it is, whatever that decision was, it opened up a new path for them especially in terms of of love and this connection. Let me see that Queen of Cups. And it could have gone either way. I feel like it's not very clear here. Let's see, Queen of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords and the Strength card. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. I don't remember if I called out Libra as well. Okay, so this person is still having a lot of feelings for you, whoever this is. Um, there's a lot of love here that they have for you, but there's also a lot of fear surrounding, surrounding that love. And because of that, I feel like there's been some reframing or some holding back. Um, because with the Nine of Swords and Strength together, it's like... It can, it can represent some kind of weakness, but to me it's more of being afraid to take charge, being afraid to actually um, step forward in a way where it's actually, you know, coming from their feelings or coming from love. To me, this Nine of Swords is actually representing fear, more so than stress and anxiety, although there is stress and anxiety here as well, present for this person, because they, they it, it, I'm getting this like as a lack of courage. So that lack of courage to act on their feelings is creating that stress. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, okay, so that's your energy, Virgo, and the Page of Cups. So this person is moving towards, because um, like I said, the, this Nine of, um, sorry, the Seven of Pentacles is also reminding me of your energy as well. Um, first of all, this person is definitely moving in some way towards you, right? I do see them with this Page of Cups opening up emotionally towards you more so than before um but not 100 percent. it's like they're still keeping to themselves and it's mostly like okay opening up about their emotions becoming more comfortable with them and then trying to put them in order um trying to put them in some kind of perspective it's interesting though like i'm still a little confused with this um justice card here what it is exactly that has happened between the two of you um, for some of you, this could even be that this person wanted to have some kind of a new beginning with you that just didn't, didn't, didn't work out or that the two of you didn't agree on. Or this person, it's like as soon as they came into some kind of a balance um, in terms of opening up a path with you and making some kind of a love, love offer, it, it feels like as soon as that happened, like fear kicked in 
and they just didn't have the courage to go through with it. Or that's, you know, what's happening now. Like, so that could be the ending that, that you are faced with. Um, and it felt like, you know, you were getting some kind of a gratification, right? This person coming around, this person finding their balance, finally opening up that new path. And then fear kicks in, doesn't happen. And, you know, you're making this decision to move on your own new path here but also hesitant at the same time. So that's kind of like the gist of what I'm getting here. <clears throat> Either way, um, I do see you moving towards love and love coming in for you. So let's see, let's see that 10 of cups. And I also see this person, like I said, you know, opening up emotionally and wanting to communicate that to you, even if they are, you know, holding back a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with another Virgo if you are a Virgo as well. Um, all right, let's see, Ten of Cups. The Lovers, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Ooh, okay. This is like, I feel like this connection with this person, it's like, I don't want to say love, hate. I just want to, I, what I want to say is like more of love and pain. Um, there's been a lot of pain and I feel like there's still pain that needs to be resolved here. All right. If this is to work out with this person, um, if you do, I, cause I, again, I do see love coming in though. Right. Um, also, uh, Gemini also presenting itself here. Um, if this is a new connection that is coming in for you, the message for you is to just be aware of the pain that you are carrying with you, right? And that you might be blocking out that pain for now. But if, you, if you're blocking it out, it's just going to creep up at some point, okay? So the message is to just, you know, be aware, be aware of that pain that you are carrying with you so that it doesn't serve to interfere um, with this connection, even if it's this person here, all right? Whatever that pain is, it needs to be addressed. Because I do see um, a very strong connection here in love presenting itself. All right, Virgo, let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message for you which may or may not be about this particular situation. All right, and we have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. And this is what I've been saying, actually, right? Um, I feel like this is pretty much summing up the very first two cards here. Um, having the confidence to move in that particular new path. You don't have to nitpick at it. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.